Good morning, American Heritage. Welcome to your weekly 909 Live show. I'm George. And I'm Jordan. Before we get into the rest of your news, we'd like you to stand for the pledge. First, we're going to catch up with Cameron to see what's up with seniors on campus. As seniors approach the end of the school year, tensions rise and emotions are tuned to high. They impatiently wait for their acceptances and stay up all hours to submit their applications on time. In the midst of all this craziness, though, seniors find fun participating in competitions and striving for academic excellence. I caught up with a couple of them to see their thoughts. How did it feel applying to colleges knowing that acceptance rates are below what they've been in recent years? Well, I felt pretty confident while applying. I felt like I met the requirements that schools wanted from students, and I was still stressed out about it, you know, but I've gotten into a few already, so I'm pretty confident that I'll get into the rest of the colleges I've applied to. Does the school, in your opinion, find ways to balance the stress of acceptance with fun activities or events? I think so. I think our student government has done a really great job of putting on great events. Um, for instance, we had Winter Wonderland Week, and that really eased the stress of exam week, and especially it was during the times of college uh, applications, so it really helped out with the stress level. Well, it was very stressful. I did not think I was going to get in a lot of places, but it turned out I did, so maybe that's for the better. Smarter kids. Now we're going to head over to Jordan's segment and we're going to talk about the FELA's projects this year. Hi, my name is Brianna Dedimore and I am a senior at American Heritage School of Boca del Rey. I've been in FBLA since my freshman year. Future Business Leaders of America is a club that inspires and prepares students to become community business leaders through leadership experiences and career preparation. On the average day, FBLA prepares for the competitions that we have, different uh, district uh, business competitions besides FBLA, and we'll also do community service events as well. I think Future Business Leaders of America helps students to be able to succeed in the business world through uh, different career preparations, through the competitions, being able to learn the different uh, information and have different experiences in order to be successful. Currently, in our club, we are preparing for FBLA districts. At our current meeting, we judged uh, different business presentations to, and uh, gave constructive, constructive criticism. Favorite memory from FBLA is to be able to create a community service project called Hurricane Helping Hands, which aims to uh, distribute hurricane safety kits to low-income seniors. Now let's check up with George with the weather. Good morning, American Heritage. My name is George Aquino, and I'm here to present your midweek weather. Today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 76 and a low of 71. Thursday, there's going to be thunderstorms with a high of 78 and a low of 51. Friday is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 55. Saturday, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 72 and a low of 61. Well, finally, Sunday is going to have morning showers with a high of 70 and a low of 60. This has been your mid and weekend weather. Thanks. I'm George, back in the Next, we're going to discuss an overlooked topic altogether about bullying. Cyberbullying is a serious issue for today's youth, but what is cyberbullying? According to StopBullying.gov, cyberbullying is bullying that takes place over digital devices like cell phones, tablets, computers, etc. It can occur through SMS, text, apps, or online social media forums. This bullying can take place through many different things. Rumors being spread, threatening people, pretending to be people online, creating mean or hurtful websites about someone. But what are some things you can do when you realize cyberbullying may be happening to you? First, ask questions. Learn about what's happening, how it started, and who's involved. Second, keep a record of what's happening and where. Next, report it. Most social media platforms and schools have clear policies about reporting. Last, find supportive peers and mentors who can intervene if it gets too serious. 
Star Dueling may seem serious and scary, but if you get it under control, it's not too bad. I'm Jordan Berkowitz, and back to the studio. I'm Jordan. And I'm George. And we're, we're out. out.